Hello and welcome to today's video. In this one, I'm really hoping to get a lot of Apple users back onto Hustle Castle after the game was dropped from the App Store. Now, the only two requirements you will need, which some people might not have, is a computer and a Google account. And for the Google account, you can just create one on setup, as long as your Hustle Castle account was linked in another way, which you can select later. Now onto the first requirement, whether you have a laptop or desktop PC, either will work in this situation. And for anyone else who only has a phone to use, I am afraid I can't help you with your issue. This guide is only for people with a separate device that they can use and it's not including their phone. And anyone watching this for their solution, please watch the whole video first because there might be something here you're not comfortable with, or it might not even be your computer in the first place to use in a certain way. So continue watching and see what you think by the end of it. So the application you'll want to download will be called Bluestacks. Now don't worry, I've personally and still use Bluestacks to do these recordings and have done for a couple of years now. And I can say for people who have a Windows computer or laptop, won't have any issues, but as for Mac users, it could be worth checking reviews just in case. But since they openly support for Mac users, you should be fine as well. I'm also going to have a link on how to get to this site down below, so you can use that if you like in a separate tab or page. Now, there are two things to note at this point. If you are on Windows, you can use either Bluestacks 5 or 4, and I would personally use 5. In my experience, I found this to be a little faster, but for Mac users, you will be stuck with Bluestacks 4. But that won't be an issue for you as there's not a huge difference. But we are just about to get into the technical bits. So you can just ignore these steps technically and skip to the part where you download it, but your final results might be really poor, so it could be worth taking notes and following along. There is one other thing to consider before downloading either of these versions, and that's the question how powerful your computer is. Luckily, the game with Bluestacks is massively CPU bound, meaning your processor is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. So here are the minimal specs, in my opinion, to run this smoothly enough, depending if you have an AMD or Intel CPU. With these results, you can compare your own CPU on this great website I use down below, and if you type in your own CPU, you just need to make sure that your points are higher than the ones I'm showing here. Or if you don't want to be looking at all this extra stuff, as long as your laptop or computer was brought after 2016, you should be fine with the performance you have. Now let's move on to the downloading stage. If you go into the description when you're ready and click on the link below download Bluestacks here, it will take you to the website so you can get started. Again, if you're a Mac, you would have to select Bluestacks 4 and on the Mac option. But if you own a Windows computer, then I would recommend Bluestacks 5. And for Windows users, if you are looking to play Hustle Castle on the latest mobile games, then definitely select the 64-bit for better performance. But if you plan to play really old games that aren't really widely supported, then make sure to download the 32-bit for more compatibility. So again, 64 for performance, 32 for compatibility. From here is the same as you would normally download things, and some settings will be up to you, so I won't need to show you this part because it will be entirely up to you on what you select. But if you do have any questions at this point, please leave them down below and I'll try and answer them the best I can. From here you might see this box, but I might only be seeing this box because I have two versions of Bluestacks already, so if you don't, just continue with the video for now. Within this box you will want to press this button here to make a shortcut, and this will make things easier for the future. You can now get rid of the small box, and in the future, you will only need to use the new shortcut you just created. Now mine's already been sorted, but if yours pops up with possible issues from not using this thing called CPU virtualization, this can be sorted later on. The issue with this and not sorting it out, even if your computer has an example of six cores and very high performance, by default your computer is gonna be locked to only one single core, making the game very slow and not the way you actually want to be playing. Except with it enabled, you can select all the cores you have available for some great speed increases over the default. But before messing around with anything like this, I'd rather you know that you can get onto your account first before increasing the performance. So what I'd like you to do now is click on the Play Store button and then sign into your Google account. Again, you can create one as long as your Hustle Castle game is linked in another way, which you can select on later. Now I've already signed in, so please pause the video before we continue if you need to. Otherwise, you can then use the search box at the top to find and install Hustle Castle. And again, the performance will most likely be slow when it first loads up, but for now, this is just to make sure you can get onto your account. So let the game install and then head onto the game. And when you can, during the tutorial phase, just skip through the first part with the tower by pressing the X in the top right 
and then just wait for the first battle to be over that everyone will have to face anyway. Then after that, you can then click on the settings wheel on the very right and then click the way that you've already linked your account, whether that's My Games, Google or Facebook. You can then click yes because you won't need your brand new account again and as long as you can log in, you should now have your account back online again. If this is the case, then it would be great if you could give this video a big like and consider subscribing in case more things like this happen in the future. And leave a comment down below just to let me know if I was able to help you get started playing again. It will be great to see how many people I've been able to help out. Right, so if you've made it this far, let's now move on to the next technical bit which will unlock your blue stacks from a turtle speed to full throttle. What I would like you to do first will vary if you're on a laptop or a computer and that is to click on the three lines in the top right and then click on settings. Now what you want to do is click on the CPU allocation option and press custom and then select the highest number available. This may seem strange but it hasn't caused me any issues in the past by selecting the highest amount so let's say you can actually do this stage then you can skip to this time here and see what other things you can do to improve your experience. But if you aren't able to change this setting yet because of virtualization, then you will have a tricky step to get past. But as long as you're careful, you should be fine. So within the next bit, please double check everything before you make any saves. Now listen to this next bit before you follow along and please note this will be your choice and responsibility and I won't be liable for anything that goes wrong if it does. So please make sure you check this video multiple times if you need to before changing any of the following settings. What you will need to do is restart your computer and keep pressing F2 or if that doesn't work then the delete key and that will take you into your BIOS. And don't worry there is a video guide for this and you will only have to enable one option but again take your time and please follow the video guide. What I'd recommend to do is to go in the description again to watch this video that Bluestacks does provide on how to enable this feature. And I'd skip to this time for Intel users and this time here for AMD users and ideally watch this once you enter your BIOS. You can follow both of them if you're not sure which one you have as if you do follow the wrong one you won't be seeing the right options anyway so you can just skip to the other time and follow it again. Please pause the video here if you need to at this point. What you should now be able to do is load up the shortcut for your new Bluestacks player or the Hustle Castle app and now be able to change the CPU allocation settings to the highest number allowed by again pressing the custom option and then selecting what you want to use. Once that's all sorted, what you'll want to do is make sure your memory allocation is also on at least 2GB but 4 would be best for this situation and also make sure that your FPS cap is on 60. Hopefully at this point everything is running well for you, leaving just one last thing to do and that is to make sure that when you head on to the game, you go onto your settings on the right again and then turn on HD graphics by pressing the button once. This will dramatically change some areas of the game to a much higher detail for a better experience like when you select on a dweller and have a look at their evolution tab, as you can see here. Again, if this has worked for you, I would really appreciate it if you could share the word out about this video and my channel to your friends, and let's get everyone back onto playing the game, and I really hope I have sorted your situation out if you needed this video. And thank you for watching, if you are new to the channel then it could be worth watching this video I have here on my very first squad review, as I might be able to help your squad in the near future as well.